Thanks for watching Squirrel Fun. Comment below and let me know what you would like to see in future videos. Subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever I upload something new. Check out some of my other videos for short trivia lessons and quick bits of knowledge so that you can learn something new every day, even with your busy schedule. Peace, love, rock and roll. Enjoy! Who coined the phrase? Who said, go west, young man? We know Horace Greeley wrote it, and he was certainly the most prominent person to say it in a memorable way. Horace Greeley was a self-made newspaper man, social critic, and advocate who built the influential New York Tribune into a mighty voice for change. He opposed monopolies, the death penalty, and slavery, and he advocated homestead land grants and egalitarianism. In a Tribune editorial dated July 13, 1865, Greeley wrote, Washington is not a place to live in. The rents are high, the food is bad, the dust is disgusting, and the morals are deplorable. Go west, young man. Go west and grow up with the country. Although he was a solid advocate for Western settlement, Greeley was attempting to speak to a different issue. He was addressing disgruntled civil servants in D.C. who had complained at length about low pay and high living costs in their city of employment. What Greeley meant was, if you don't like it here, go somewhere else. A number of historians credited the phrase to John B. Sewell, writing in the Terre Haute Express in 1851. That credit lacks one key component, a specific date. If we're sure someone said or wrote something, we usually know exactly when. With Sewell, we do not. So a firm credit becomes problematic. He probably did say it, but just as likely so did others before and after. In the 1800s, many thousands sought their fortunes out west. Go west was the era's equivalent of saying, apply for college. Greeley's own story ended less optimistically. He ran against Ulysses X. S. Grant for president in 1872 and was soundly defeated. He lost his mind and his newspaper, and he died insane. His assessment of Washington, D.C., however, has in many ways endured the test of time.